Yes! Mine. Push out into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few allies. What's this? Why is that highlighted over there? What is this thing? might be linked to what Ashworth is working on. And we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. Vice Overseer Burns' suspicions were right. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more Sleep darts, raw whale. Ooh, that's useful. Outer mind solution. My rune. The heck is going on here, man? If I install the lens, what what did, what happens? Okay, well now I can deliver the that uh, the thing to the black market guy. What a pla Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. Ooh. Lots of money. What a pleasant surprise to see you again. <laughs> Five new upgrades available. Blood flies are worse here than any district in Kanaka. And it used to be such a prosperous district, too. Got that room. So will be satisfied with your purchase. Do some upgrades. I have a lot of cash Let's to see. spend. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. Let's see here. I don't use bullets. That's done. <clears throat> sure, why not? Excellent choice. Better sword. Um. Instant sleep? Why not? No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Farewell. Good. And do think of us again. Do an upgrade. Powers, I got four now. A 
guys are falling. Decelerate. Where's that one that... Yeah, this one. Items... Oh, yeah, I'll take this. Okay, I'll do another save just in case things go to shit on my way back. Over there. This look looks important. I wonder what it does. Whoa. <laughs> that lens that I found around, that's what it did. Is that everything? That's a non lethal way to take her down, right? Alright. Pull! Touch of the void. The Lila. It was everything I had. We don't need a killer. There you go. I do want to get that rune though. We shall into the harsh world. You are alone. They got some missions. This is bone charm. Must be some good stuff in here somewhere. Adamire solution. Painting. Take that. Why does this feel like a trap? Guess it isn't. Another rune? Well, that's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the fuck out of here. Holy shit, this is a long ass mission. I think I got a lot of stuff, though. Well, there's one thing that I got during my reboot of a chapter here. I missed out on is uh, something in the basement. There's some blueprint there. So let me go get that real quick. Somewhere around here. Go through here. This is the bathroom, right? Yeah, bathroom. I don't need to go through there. It is through here. Blueprint on this desk. Yeah, boy. Oh, rewire tool. Granadas. Alright, that's it. We did a good job, this mission. No more runes, got everything. Let's get the fuck out of here. And hopefully I didn't kill anyone, but there's no guarantee because sometimes this game... You do the most obscure things ever and somehow you end up killing people. Escape. The round save point. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Look over there. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> go the way we came. Told me I could use an Atomire solution. Just let me go. The escape. Whatever. Come 
on. I'm bored. Don't run while that guy's directly underneath me. I'm not in the mood. Show yourself. Whatever, dude. I don't care. Had some bull. As soon as I said I activated it. He didn't see me though. We already handed that mission to the Mark guy. Alright, let's go meet up with Megan. Get the fuck out of here. Push out into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few allies. All right, I don't know what's going on because it says okay, whatever. Get through this dialogue sequence first. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. All right, Megan. Thank you for opening up, if only a little. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Are you ready to leave now? I guess so. Fuck, man. It's like... Yes, let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Circonos and Delilah. Yeah, this is what I don't understand. First off, I killed four people. I'm assuming that means that the dogs counted as hostiles, so that's so stupid. It should be just people. Who cares about the dogs? One body detected, which isn't bad. But when I go to, you guys saw, I brought up the that heart thing. It says that I'm missing two bone charms, which is not true because I definitely found everything that was on the screen. I don't get it unless there was something else that I didn't see. But anyways, whatever. It took two hours and 42 minutes to complete. For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. Back into the void. Nope. You can always tell by the color of the door. The door's normal color. Confer with your allies. We might worry about Megan can take care of Megan is out in the city. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy. And they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. 
but that means I had to kill someone. Seeing this place and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? The Dust District. Hmm. I've read about the winds coming through the cleft in Shindere Peak. How the city uses it for windmills and mining operations. Where's the doctor? Should I talk with her again? There are my quarters. Doctor! Where are you at, doctor? Oh god, it's bright up here. Holy shit, it's bright. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for me for this session. That was a very long mission, so I gotta take a quick break. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the series. If you enjoyed the series, drop the video a quick thumbs up, and I shall see you guys next time for some more Dishonored 2. As always, have a fast day!